Beach. We are going to design a boat. Now there's several ways to do it. This is just one way. This way is going to be drawing the bottom of the boat as a 2D sketch and then pulling it up to 3D and tweaking some things. So again, we're in Autodesk 123D Design. It's on your, it's on your laptop under apps. Things to make sure, edit grid down the bottom right. Make sure you're on the Dremel preset. That way it knows to make your plane that you're working on, your, your build plane, the right size. I'm in centimeters. You can be in inches. That's fine. Doesn't matter which. And you want to make sure your edit grids are pretty low. So whenever, so this is saying every time I hit an arrow key kind of thing, it's going to move whatever I'm moving 0.1 centimeter. I actually don't use arrow keys that much in this, but okay. Um, think about the size of your hand, making a boat about that size. My hand is about 10 centimeters across by about 20 centimeters, or it's about three and a half by seven inches. So think along those lines of size to make. So I'm going to use a sketching tool that's called a spline because it creates rounded parts. You could use a polyline tool, which is going to create straighter lines, straighter edges. The, the spline takes a little bit more thinking and geometry. Try one, try the other, see what happens. Now, since I'm going to create a drawing, I want to go from the top view. So I'm going from the top view, but I, I want to don't want to look at it this way. I want to look at it actually tall. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Okay. I want to look at it this way. Okay. Now I'll go up to our sketching tools, grab the spline. And the bad part about this is it's going to blow up the grid to a rectangle. I don't know why it does that. Just remember what size grid you're working with, that I've got a 15 by 23 here. As soon as I go to do spline, it says, hey, click on the grid I want to do. Okay, watch it blow up the grid. Ta-da! Yay, just remember, I'm, I'm, I'm only working on 15. So I picked a point. Now, I'm kind of, I'm not on the right edge of my boat. The right edge of my boat's actually going to be coming down here. I'm trying to go across the middle of the back to get the middle of the back kind of straight, but still curved. Now watch as I start to go up, things are going to bend. All right, so it depends on how wide you want to go. Uh, middle of my boat right now is seven and a half here. So two and a half or five. So I got about a 10 wide boat. Um, so I can just go out to here. I mean, go wherever you want. Take your pick. We're just going to do something simple. Um, and now we're going to start curving up. And i got to get two points up here again. Um, I'm going to go in the same spot there and here. Oh, my gosh. This is an ugly boat, isn't it? Again, we're talking symmetry. Then we bring it back down. I basically made an egg, didn't I? Yay, it's still going to be a boat, right? Uh, change the width, change the length a little bit. So I'm about 15 centimeters long um, by about 10 centimeters wide. Okay, that'll fit in my hand. Now, notice how when I click the last point, it that went back to specify first point, and this got shaded in. If yours is not getting shaded in, it means you, you, you've missed a connection, and we're not going to be able to do what we want to do. Um, this check mark is allow you to exit the mode or you can just hit the escape. So that's going to be the, bot, the, the shape of my boat. I'm going to come back to the home view and I'm going to extrude that. I'm going to pull that up with that tool. So it's going to, hey, select a closed sketch or a face and then pull it up. Boom. So I want to pull that up. Uh, how tall do I want to make it? Oh, let's go, I don't know. Three centimeters, three centimeters. Yeah, let's go for three. Let's go for three. Okay. So here is the basic shape of my boat. So I extruded it up. Now is where I want to do, you know, those those edges. Use the that fillet tool to modify. So again, fillet, 
create some round edges. So I want to click on the bottom edge and I want to fill it. Uh, select the edge you want to fill it. And why well, doesn't it's supposed to give me a number on the screen? All right, I'll just drag it in. Usually there's a box on the screen that says how far you want to do it. So I'm, I'll just make it a roundish. Okay. There's a nice little fillet. Um, now, if you were using the, the straighter line tool, you could use the chamfer. Right? That's chamfer, right? Yeah, you can use a chamfer to create some flat edges. Being this is all round, it's there's nothing here flat to go. Um, at least I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think it will. All right, so there is some part of the boat. Let's try chamfer. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I can always undo it, right? Let's chamfer this edge. Huh? Oh, so it'll it will chamfer. Okay, which it's just flatter than the fillet. Well, take your pick. I actually don't want that. To, to, uh, yeah, what the heck? Nah, it's not going to matter for because of the next step. Um, so we're making a flat bottom boat. So I really just want to just just get rid of that. Just don't do that. Boom. Go away. Okay, escape. Okay, so there's the basics of my boat. Now, I need to hollow out the boat. They really just want like a rowboat kind of thing, a hollowed out boat. So what I need to do is I need to make a copy of this. Control C, Control V. Slide it up a little bit so I can just see it. Select it, and we want to scale it. We're going to scale it, let's say, 93%, 0.93. And what that does is it makes a smaller version and it lifts it up, you know, that little bit off the ground also. Um, and this is basically going to be the, the hollow part. This is going to help me make a hole. Um, so it needs to be taller than this boat. So I'm going to need to pull that face up. I'm going to need to extrude this top a little bit above the original. All righty. So this is going to actually be, create a hole. So now I want to center these two up. So that would be an alignment tool. So align selected objects. So let's select the original and the hole. I use control click to get more than one and center it back in front and center it front to back. Side to side, front to back. And now I'm done with that, so hit escape. We don't need this this line anymore. We can select it and delete it. Boom. Now I need to make a hole. Well, that would be combine, subtract. So combine, subtract. Pick the target. Well, the bottom one's the target. Top one is the mesh. And then click off. And we got a hole. So there is a boat. It's got a round bottom which is better for going through the water, but it's, well, it's got round edges on the bottom, but it has an actual flat bottom. We've got to have a flat, flat bottom because that's how it's got to print. Um, now the idea is to add some little accents to it. Um, add uh, seats, which really could just be some rectangles. Um, whatever, you know, zero point, let's go, actually, let's go, whatever, five by zero point, Two, yeah, I don't know, five, whatever. You know, get them in here. Places to sit down, make them bigger, what, whatever. But again, you're going to want to combine them, which means target, source, click off. And then a final step, like to make sure that we group everything. So kind of like select all or let's control click to make sure that we get everything. Control click. Why oh, are you not getting everything? And then group. And then again, so you know, add some accents to it. Some seats, maybe a pole for a sail. Um, a place to put oars for it. Um, for example, let's make a little 
make a little place. That's eh, not gonna be wide enough, is it? We're gonna make that wider, maybe even taller. Okay, and we really want to put that on top here, like on top of the side, and then we're gonna to want to put a hole in it. Um, so we're gonna move this again. This tool here, transform. I want to move this. I want to move it up, and then I want to move it there. And I want to make sure they're they're touching and they're kind of together. So then I would make sure to combine those. Boom, boom. Click off. Okay. And again, there needs it needs a hole in there for the ore, which would be a cylinder. Just you know, whatever numbers work. Doesn't matter how how tall the hole the hole is. Okay. Well, we're going to have to rotate this 90 degrees, aren't we? Okay. Rotate 90 degrees. Okay. And then we need to put it there. Not over there. It needs to be through here. Again, we need that move to actually get it where we want it. And that's what this is all about. Ta -da. I'm not in the right place yet. So close. Okay. Remember, we want to make that a hole, so this has got to be a merge subtract. Again, that's the t this thing's the target. And that thing is the mesh, the source. Ta-da! So, that's the idea. Keep playing with it.